The Sharp S341 WT provides one GE port and one FA port. These ONT and ONU features high performance forwarding capabilities to ensure excellent experience with VOIP, Internet, HD video services and IPTV. These features make the Sharp S341 WT dual mode, a perfect choice for broadband access. This Sharp S341 WT is the Made in India product. In this video, I am gonna share how to configure Sharp modem for Railware FTTH internet connection. Okay friends, let's get into the video. Uh, in this video, I am gonna share how to configure Sharp modem for Railware 5th internet connection. And before we getting configured, uh, we should uh, connect our PC or laptop with the modem. Make sure it is connected and uh, I will be providing a notepad at the start of starting of the video make sure uh, you go through this and do the configuration okay let's get it okay after that after getting connected with your modem please go through the notepad i have provided here this may help you for the further configuration okay these are the, these are the important points you, you should be known uh, and this is the railware website uh, you need to use this username and password which you are used in railware for further configuration and uh, now open web browser whatever it may be enter 192.168.1.1 uh, for getting configured and this uh, website will be displaying I enter the username as admin and password as stdonu101 and the verification code given below ok verification code given below and click on to login after that uh, this page will be displaying you should need to be changed the old password so enter the password so I forget to say that um, in this password uh, I mentioned right std onu this onu is the only letter should be entered in caps and other should be remaining remaining should be in small letters ok after getting uh, changing your password um, you have to re-enter it admin your new password created password and uh, now verification code given below and click on to login ok after getting login uh, now open network option uh, this should be, this is the default option ok we should delete it and uh, create a new one ok uh, band connection points nothing ok network option uh, connection name add new band connection root ap protocol 4 uh, no need of vlan for uh, railware connection and the username which you have entered at the beginning so I mentioned right now tn.dinesh and password also the same you have entered there password and uh, service name as mm, railware so we are configuring that only so I have entered railware and after that uh, open all the port bindings and click on to save ok after that click on to status you can check here after getting connected uh, the status should be shown as up ok after that on to network vlan uh, change your you can change this change your wifi name here ssid name so i'm typing my name here and applying changes okay name is changed after that click on to vlan security for changing the password okay vlan security uh, you can preset key means your password for wifi connection preset key you can change it here after that click on to time 
uh, change the time zone as, as per I did and uh, select VLAN and click on to save now check the status uh, this would be the final so after getting configured you can click on the status and uh, the page would be displaying like this if you find connection it would be displaying like this okay uh, okay that's all about the video if you have any doubts you can just comment down here and or you can ask anything about this uh, in our instagram channel or telegram channel will be provided below the description okay keep uh, watching our videos like share and subscribe thank you